Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play This War of Mine. It's day 35 and there have been some problems, but we hope Boris will be back soon. Yeah, because for some reason, people just went crazy. They were completely fine and then all of a sudden, they started attacking Boris. I really hate that in this game, it's so bizarre. I mean, you're fine and then all of a sudden you're not. Everybody treats you like the worst criminal in the world. I don't understand what happened. I haven't been stealing. I haven't been attacking them. I haven't even pulled out the crowbar at all. And all of a sudden, they decided to attack Boris. So, um, well, even without, you know, clicking on them, when they attack you, Boris counterattacked immediately. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And that meant that he punched the guy with the crowbar, but he didn't kill him, so... That's all right, but it's just so bizarre. Let's make some uh, some more of this. I I really don't get the the mechanics involved. I mean, what? Boris? Ha oh, he's already back. Boris had been searching for supplies and brought back some interesting things. I thought he, it always took more than a day to come back. That's excellent. <clears throat> he's uh, oh, he's not wounded. It's good to be back alive and well. That is excellent. Let's check the radio as well. Cigarettes and tobacco are available. We are happy to announce it is getting warmer. Famine and disease reign over the ravaged city of Pogoran. Death takes heavy toll you uh, with no access to food, clean water and medical supplies. So we might uh, sell um, medicine for more. We could make some pure alcohol, but hmm, I'm not a fan. Although, you do make two with just uh, one moonshine, so that's pretty good. Actually, go and eat. We need to make another axe. Can we also upgrade this? That would be, we can, we just need a mixer. But we can't make another axe then. That would be cool. Hmm. I am very tempted to do that. I need another mixer. Alright, off you go to bed. You're still sad and tired. We need food. Man, I sh should I make the axe or should I make the... Uh, or should I upgrade this thing? <laughs> Probably just make the axe first, because it's bloody awesome. But then again, you know what? I'm gonna upgrade this. Screw it. Anton will need to uh, get food from there. Well, fortunately, Boris did not get uh, hurt or anything. He just got a bit punched. <laughs> a bit punched. Alright, you can go, go and get that. You know what? Everyone is gonna eat from cans right now. So we can get some water. Some more water. Nice. And now we have uh, one piece of rotten food, so we can rebate this. Oh, come on. Go and eat. Right. There we go. Oh, there we go. We can actually make a rifle now. Oh, man. That takes a lot of stuff. Yeah, we wouldn't have enough for an axe then. Hmm. This takes a lot of parts. Vastly increases the chances of surviving a bullet or blade hit. Hmm. That's not a bad thing. I might actually do this first. Yeah, let's make it. And always have it with, with us. <clears throat> Alright, let's eat. Things are looking up now, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> we could just go back to the church and kill everyone. Because <laughs> they're bastards. I really don't understand what was going on there. Right, now we can't make the axe, unfortunately, because we don't have the, uh... Hmm. Well, if I make this, I only have three, um, weapon parts, but I could always trade for them. So let's make this as well, another assault rifle. That's pretty crazy how much stuff we have. And Boris is sad, so he will need to, uh... He's not hungry, though, that's interesting. Did he eat? 
I can't remember. What are you doing? Oh, he's just sort of pacing around. Uh, yeah, he will need to play some guitar and hopefully that will make him feel better. There we go. How many weapons do we have now? Two assault rifles, one pistol, one shotgun, and loads of bullets. And military vest. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Cigarettes consumed per day three. Uh, our shelter feels almost like home, giving us relief and hope, uh, helping us regain compos uh, composure. We have an arm jam, but we lack chairs. We have beds and we sleep in distant conditions. If someone gets sick or wounded, they'll have a place to rest. We made a radio and we like listening to it. We've got a guitar and Zlata can play it really well. Her music cheers up in these hard times. Oh, does it cheer everyone up? Oh, it might do. We have a few books. A good book helps forget the horrors of war. Staying here provides some comfort in these hard times. All breaches in our walls have been boarded up. We have reinforced the door and installed an improvised alarm system. Even, even if we were all caught sleeping, we shall be able to repel most bandit attacks. Oh, that's nice. Right, so you go and play the guitar. If that means that everyone gets their moods up, that's pretty good. <clears throat> can we make some more moonshine? Yes, we can. Only one. Oh. Um, I need another fire thingy. Ah, oh, crap. Um, I could just burn a book. <laughs> okay, so I guess that's shelter wide then. If she's playing, hopefully. Because she can just keep playing to Boris here <clears throat> and he'll feel better. We're running out of um, firewood, though, unfortunately. So, are we actually running out of cigarettes? Yes, we are. Man, we're doing good now. Everything is fully upgraded. Everything that we have. We haven't built a herbal station yet. Because it's bloody expensive to make. Yeah. 30 components, 30 wood, and then loads of water. Dun, 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 dun. Well, it says we lack chairs, but so we could make another chair, maybe. How much for a chair? Not much at all. Certainly make that later on. We haven't made the axe, though, and the trader is not here. Hmm. Let's get some more water. Oh, I thought we had another filter. How rude. Make another filter then. Let's gladly eat something. Oh yeah, you need to eat still. Right now, actually. Has everyone eaten? Yes, they have. Except Svita. We're lucky it's not cold in here. Right, go and eat quickly before the end of the day. Dun, dun, dun. There we go, she's eating and we'll be done just before the night time. There we go. They say these cans are quite nutritious. Right, the night. Scavenge, of course. Guard, guard, and... Sleep, I guess. Right. So where are we going? This place sucks. There's just bloody crazies there. Even though there's still lots of stuff, but we would need to be stealing it from them. Um, small apartment building. Shelled school. We could go there. Rebel militiamen. I um, might be willing to trade with us. Hmm. Or the other place. Where was it? Uh, people say deserters from the army. They probably have lots of supply stock. Okay, they... They don't want to trade, apparently. Hmm. Small apartment building. Yeah, we should probably go to the shelled school. And hopefully they don't shoot us. They might be willing to trade with us. Okay, first of all, I am taking the vest. And possibly this. Assault rifle. So we show them who's boss, but no, I'm... Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna take it. Jeez, I don't need that many bullets. Uh, I should probably take the crowbar as well. Just to be sure. Right, let's uh, bring all the stuff we'll trade with. We've got quite a bit of moonshine, so that's good. Hopefully they'll be willing to trade and not just shoot us on sight. Some coffee, maybe. 
<clears throat> nah, we'll probably have coffee. Let's scavenge. Okay, let's be careful. Let's be real careful. Don't want uh, Boris to die. I heard they had classes when the shelling started. Poor kids. Right, we'll have to be careful. Where is everyone? I can hear them. But I don't know where they are. Well, that's pretty good already. Oh. No, that wouldn't be right. We're not bandits. Oh. Remember, we are to protect the people, not harm them. Okay, so I guess... They'll be okay. Alright, I understand. Don't worry. Good. It's easy to forget that during the war. Now let's try to go over here. And hopefully they won't shoot us on sight. But we do have the... Uh, uh. Stop! The school it has held by Viseni militia. We can trade. Okay. Are you going to just shoot me or can we trade? There we go. But you can't enter. What have you got? Right. You can back our cause and profit at the same time. Oh, look at him. Victor. Right. Um, they don't have a lot of stuff, but I'm guessing they'll give us a lot for this. Interesting. Want to exchange? Um, what can you give me for that? Well, some food would be nice, of course. Some herbs as well. Um, cans are very expensive. I'm actually gonna take water. It's very generous of you. Steel. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Okay, how about some more? <laughs> exactly what I need. Um, now give me some sh more sugar as well. And more of this. Maybe some books as well, yeah. Um, maybe some more parts. Oh. Well, let's have a deal with that. Anything else? Well, I've got some more cigarettes, which I could give him. What can he give me for that? Mm, maybe some more components? Hmm, I could get two lockpicks. There. Eh, it's not too bad. Deal. Alright, bye. I'm not going to enter the place. Don't want to piss him off. Yeah, it wasn't too great, but oh well. I just wanted to try to see what I can actually find. What's that sound? Yeah, not not too great, but hopefully the um the war will be over soon. So uh we can do that. Well thank you for watching. We're gonna go to day 36. Bye bye.